On this great plain the eye sees less of land and sky, and men seem to inhabit here as much the cloud-crossed hemisphere as the flat earth. Trains travel fast and straight, and travellers early or late think of their destination more than of pasture, wheat field, wayside station. Here birds and wind fly free, and tree is miles from tree, except where in dark ranks they muster against the gales or cluster, befriending lonely farms. Tired tramps and trampers fare sadly along the endless roads, but the hare is lucky, and the magpie, black and white, highwayman with his shout. Sounds are soon dead, being echoless in the vast emptiness. Though thunder and ocean roar carry on calm days far, and some sounds hardly ever rest. The sound of wind from nor'east or nor'west, and three great rivers with proud Māori names, chafing worn shingle till the ocean tames their wildness. This is my holy land of childhood, trying to comprehend and learn it like the features of a friend. Sight rides on power poles and tops of trees from the long eastern beaches and loud seas, league after league till definition fades in bluish vague distance. Then dreams begin to see in vision, colourless and thin, beyond the western foothills.